Okay, so we've just dug out the kickstart hot water bottle from the shed. Um, it's quite cold and my temperature on the hot bin has dropped below 15 degrees Celsius. So we're going to fill this with boiling water, try and give the temperature a boost and get everything ticking over again. So the best thing to do um, is to give everything a good stir through, agitate the waste so the air is running through it and there's those air pockets that you've created. And then we just need to fill this with boiling water, but we also need to add in some new fresh waste as well. And that will help to maintain the temperature once the heat from the hot water bottle has um, dissipated. So we suggest the main time to use it is in the winter and if the temperatures drop below 15 degrees Celsius. If you use it when the bin's warmer than that, you'll find that it doesn't have much of an effect on the temperature because the bacteria are already active at 15 degrees Celsius or hotter. Okay, so we're just going to go and fill the hot water bottle with some boiling water. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've got our hot water bottle. We've carefully filled it with boiling water. No need to fill it all the way to the top so it's in the handle. Just fill it to that mark there. Now what we need to do is we just need to make space in the top layer of the waste. And then we just need to, once it's in place, cover it with fresh waste, some shredded paper and some bulking agent. And then just leave it for 24 hours. Give that a stir around to mix it. Okay, so the hot water bottle is in place. We're going to close the lid and now we're just going to leave it for 12 to 24 hours to let the bacteria get up to temperature, get rid of everything a boost and get them working hard and efficiently to break down your waste. So another reason you might use the hot water bottle is you've been away on a holiday and you've not fed the bin for a couple of weeks. If your hot bin's already at 15 degrees Celsius or hotter, that means the bacteria are already active. So just to get them working harder and to increase the temperature, just feed it some more kitchen waste, garden waste, but try and give it a big feed and make sure you're aerating it at the same time. And that should be enough to just naturally get you up to temperature without the need for using the hot water bottle. Make sure you don't just pour in the hot water from the bottle. That's not how it works. And that's just going to leave you a very soggy heap. Ensure you're wearing gloves or something to protect your hands when you're handling the hot water bottle. Um, another important factor to note is that this is a high density polyethylene that it is made to hold boiling water. Don't substitute it with anything else like a glass bottle or another plastic bottle or like a milk carton or anything like that. These will just go soggy and they could be dangerous in use and you could end up scolding yourself. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments box below. Don't forget to like and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel because there'll be some more videos published soon.